Let us discuss transition metal dechalcogenides. It is a two-dimensional material and sometimes it is called layer material. It is composed of a very simple formula MX2. M is a transition metal, X is chalcogen atoms. But here we use two chalcogen atoms. It is why it is called dechalcogenides. Look the structure, the crystal structure. This material is basically three atom thick material. Three atom, atom is very very small. This is chalcogen atoms. Another chalcogen atoms. Between these two atoms, we have transition metal, and it make transition metal dechalcogenides. I have already talked about this slide that we have two dimensional material graphene, magazine. So the question is, if we have a graphene, which is a two dimensional material, which which is a phenomenal material, and it revolutionizes the, the semiconductor industry and the um, electronic industry, then why we need another material? The answer is very simple. If you look into graphene in a pristine form, in a pure form, graphene is a zero band gap material. Zero band gap. This means that there is no band gap between conduction band and valence band. So it behaves like a conductor. And for semiconductor industry, for electronics, we need semiconductor material. So we can make graphene semiconductor, but we need complex processes, complex procedures. And those procedures are expensive. And sometimes, or most of the time, it compromises on its mobility. For instance, when we transform it from zero band to some other certain band gap material, so its mobility compromise. This is why we need another material, semiconductor material, which is here transition metal dechalcogenides. Before going into detail, let me show you whether this is a growing field or not. Let me show you the progress. This is basically a scopus here, and I give the keyword transition metal dechalcogenides. I give these keywords, and look the progress, look the growth here. Vertically, it shows number of documents, horizontally, it is years. And from 2012, it's growing with a great face. It is not exponential growth, it is something different. You see here, it is a complete vertical increase here. So this means that this field has a huge potential here. I mean, this is a grooving field. Let's come back to our original work. And let me take pen here. Now, uh, this is a periodic table. If you look here, this is a MX2 formula of transition metal richer unit is a semiconductor. So this is basically transition metals like niobium, like molybdenum, tungsten here, and this is zirconia. So this M basically represents this transition metals, and this X basically represents chalcogen atoms. This is called chalcogen atoms, such as sulfur, selenium, and tellurium. These are basically showing uh, chalcogen atoms. So when we combine this chalcogen atom with transition metal with this in this formula, so we get this material. Now let me show you the interesting thing in this material. The formula is same. When we get one transition metal with another chalcogen, so for example, these these are the 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 the, the TMDC basically. So this it shows semiconductor behavior. And when we combine another atom with another, it shows sometimes semi metals. In another case, it shows true metals, true metals, you know, true metals, and another case it shows something different superconductor nature and let me surprise you here that this tmdc basically come in two crystal structure one is basically the 2h another is 1t here so you see here this is the same material we combine sulfur with molybdenum but in 2h shape so when it is in this shape it shows semiconductor nature when it is in this crystal structure, it shows metallic in nature. So magic material. But let me show you some more magic here. If we take another material here, uh, this, this material here, uh, 2H, MO is 2. But if it is in bulk form here, if it is in bulk form, so this material shows endaric band gap. We know endaric band gap. It is not suitable for 
uh, photoluminescence processes uh, because of delay or something. So, but when we exfoliate, exfoliation means that when we uh, uh, separate 3D into layer shape, that is basically called exfoliation basically, we separate 2D from 3D. So this means that when we cut 3D into small, small layer, that, that is basically exfoliation. So if we use the same structure, the same material, but it is in 2D form, this is a monolayer here. Monolayer means 2D here. Monolayer are few layers. So basically the indirect band gap transform into direct band gap. And that is very, very valuable and very, very important parameter for photoluminescence, this, this optical band gap and electronic direct band gap material. So this this is you know this transition metal digital it's very very important material. 